Welcome everyone to another Bandai Tomash Nation's SA Figure Arts review as I have the Dragon Ball GT Song Goku which is another younger self kid version of Goku in figure form but this time of course it is from the Dragon Ball GT series after his transformation which is something that happened after the Dragon Ball Z series had ended and I think there is still a fan base for GT even though technically I don't think it's canon to the other series but of course we didn't know at that time watching this in the late 90s early 2000s it does bring back a lot of good memories especially the original soundtrack and I think at that time after Z had ended people did want to see more of Dragon Ball so anything would have done and this is what we got so looking at this packaging it is the smallest box for an SH figure arts as expected as this Goku is really tiny and the presentation of this is kind of familiar if you bought Dragon Ball figures in the past. Of course, we have the usual logos, the stickers, it says Dragon Ball GT. And of course, we have a nice shot of the character at the front as well. And then this is the view from the side and then the view from the other side. And then nothing much at the top. And then at the bottom, we have a photo and some text. And at the back, of course, we have the figure in different poses. So no background card or instruction manual slip, but they do have the manual on the side of the box. And here is Son Goku inside his packaging. So here is the first look at the Son Goku figure right out of the packaging. So it's the first kid Goku we have for the SH Figure Arts line for Dragon Ball GT. So when I took it out of the box, I guess no surprises on how accurate the sculpt is. As always, they are producing some of the best figures for any Dragon Ball line. And whether it's Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT, Tomorrow Nations are always on point with their characters. Especially if you're someone that's new to collecting, you will be blown away on how accurate the sculpt is. But for someone that has collected SH Figure Dragon Balls in the past, like most of you, I'm sure you will not be surprised at all on how good this looks. And without exaggerating too much, once again, this is a character that looks like it's jumped straight from the anime. I really like the look of it, the colors, the proportions, uh, just everything about this is accurate to the source. So Tomorrow Nations have done Kid Gokus in the past, albeit from the Dragon Ball line. This is based on Dragon Ball GT, so technically it is a different look. He is essentially an adult that was shrunken down, so even though he has a smaller body, it is an adult Goku. So this one, I think in terms of the proportions, is very accurate. But I noticed that when I took it out of the box, it's actually a very tiny figure, very small and something that I didn't expect it to be that small. So they have done previous uh, Kid Gokus, which I actually don't have at the moment. So the best thing I can really compare it to is like a Kid Gohan. And I thought this character was small already, but just pair it up with this GT Goku and you'll notice that it's even smaller. And someone else that's pretty small and short is Krillin. Those two characters have always been the smaller ones, but just compared to this Goku, you can see the sheer size of how small it is. So first impressions, I really like it. And I guess if you're a fan of Dragon Ball GT, this looks like it's captured exactly the way it's meant to be. So now we're gonna take a look at the accessories, starting off with the alternative face sculpts. So the one right out of the packaging is the most neutral look, which is the friendly face sculpt. So for the first alternative face sculpt, we have something very different to the original one. And this is more of a serious look for Goku. So I would use this for kind of a pre-battle or when Goku is looking very confident. The second alternative faceplate is the one with the gritted teeth, which of course is an angry look. And this is something I would use for the in-battle mode, especially for a Kamehameha pose. And the fourth and final faceplate is the full-on angry mode with the mouth open. Once again, this can be used for an in-battle look or the Kamehameha pose, or he's giving an aggressive gesture to his opponent. And we are not done with the head sculpts as there is an alternative piece with a different hairstyle, which gives off the wind blowing effects. So all you need to do is switch out the original head sculpt for another one and then place on the face plates. Of course, it will look a lot better with the alternative hands. And here is a quick look at the alternative hair piece with the other angry face, as well as the hair piece on the confident serious look. And back to the original friendly face with the different hairstyle. And now for the hand accessories, so the one right out of the packaging is the closed fist for the punching poses. We also get a set of open palms. 
We also get a set of grapple hands for the fighting stance. We also get a set of grapple hands for the Kamehameha pose. As well as a set of open palms for the full blaster pose. And the sixth set of alternative hands has some pegs, which of course we all know is for the blaster effects. So they have included this piece, something that we did see recently in the legendary song Goku. So they kind of designed it the same way where you plug these effects into the ball and then you place this one into the hands, which I'm going to do now. And here it is, once the effect piece is placed onto either the right or left hand, it can create the Kamehameha pose. And one final accessory this figure does include is an extra bottom piece for his uniform. So this one obviously has the wind blowing effects for the bell. So let's switch it up and see how it looks. And here is how the alternative uniform piece looks placed on. So now we can take a look at the articulation, so the movement of the figure. So let's start off with the head sculpt. So it can turn side to side, round and round, very smooth. And then it can move left and right very fast. So this is good articulation here. And then you can move the head forwards and backwards. So good motion in terms of the round and round turn. And then for the arms, you can move them side to side. And then you can see there's an extra piece for the shoulder pad. And then the arms can rotate. So just be very careful because it's such a tiny figure. And then we have the full arm bend. And then there's rotation on the arms to go backwards. And then inwards quite a lot as well, which is important. And then you can see there's a rotation on the small hand. And I'm sure there's a slight hinge as well. And then for the body, you can see it's just one piece because it's such a small one. So you can rotate it side to side and then left and right slightly. You can move backwards, not so much, but I guess it's not really needed because it's such a small character. And then it can turn the waist as well, no problem. And then we also have the legs, which of course can kick forwards and then slightly backwards. There's also the splits. And then we also have some knee bends. And then for the foot, of course, rotation, there's a toe hinge and there's also a hinge for the foot. So very smooth in terms of the articulation. And now for the size comparison. So I don't have any of the previous Kid Gokus or the GT characters to compare them with. So I'll do the best I can to give you an idea. So starting off next to the SE Figurance Dragon Ball Z line with the Goku Saiyan Raised on Earth, which by the way I just picked up, as well as the legendary Super Saiyan song Goku. And here it is next to the SE Figurance Dragon Ball Z Earth Strongest Man Krillin and the Kid Era song Gohan. And here it is standing next to some other popular lines with the Hasbro Marvel Legends, the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, as well as the Medicom Mafex Zack Snyder's Justice League Superman. So now for my final thoughts on the SE Figure Arts Dragon Ball GT song Goku. This is simply a great figure overall as it's almost the perfect acro representation of Goku from this anime. I say this all the time, the smaller the scale a figure is, the more difficult it is to sculpt. So this being 112 scale with a much smaller body makes it even more impressive. The figure has many face expressions all very different to one another which is great for all kinds of poses. You also get the wind blowing hairpiece which is interchangeable with all the faces as well. There's lots of alternative hands, there's also the blaster effect and a slight change to the belt area. So there's a lot to play and pose around with. The only thing I'll say is the joints are not strongly fitted since it is a tiny sculpt so you do just have to be careful when manoeuvring it. I really can't ask for more since the price was low so I didn't really expect anything like an aura effect and I know this will never happen but also to include a alternative Super Saiyan head sculpt that would have been great but I guess they do always want you to buy the next release. So my overall score is a 9 out of 10. It doesn't really matter if this is canon or not. This is one amazing figure if you like Dragon Ball. It is a unique look of Goku especially his colours and it's one that's very different to his usual releases. Is this the best Kid Goku they have made? I'm not one to say since I don't have the other versions in hand. Like and comment on your thoughts, also check out my other SH Figuras reviews and stay tuned to more news and announcements for the line. Thanks for watching.